Friends, I've just received an update on Adrian Toombs, a.k.a. the Vulture. Apparently, this winged criminal has fallen ill with cancer. He's been moved to the RAF's infirmary for treatment, which will undoubtedly cost a fortune in public funds. Now, let me ask you, why do we even have an infirmary at the RAF? It's a supermax prison full of maniacs. If they get sick, let nature take its course. Now, I realize that's harsh, but so is my tax bill. This is stable control. Over What's here. the situation south of Houston? Fires are firing on two CP Bravo. Need backup. Hey, sorry I'm late. Morning, Parker. Or is it evening? That doesn't matter. Check the neurosensors, would you? We need a faster response time. On it. Try to get it under three milliseconds. Doc loves these things. He used them in grad school when he had to manipulate radioactive isotopes. Says seeing them keeps him humble. What is this, Doc? Never seen this type of material. Would you believe it's for welding? Provides remarkable magnetic insulation and limits cross-contamination between the neural interface and arms. Looks like I could optimize this power relay. Nice. Okay, what next? It looks like some impedance in this neurosensor circuit.
Finished. Signal to noise is out of whack. A new signal processor should reduce lag.
I got it, Doc. 2.8 milliseconds. Good work, Peter. I'd call that a mild success. i call that unbelievable. Do you need some help? Yes. Doctor, what's going on? It's become that obvious. My doctors call it a degenerative neurological disorder. Probably caused by overexposure to toxic chemicals in my reckless youth. Sorry, is, is, is there anything I can do? You already are. The worst part is, it only affects the muscles. The mind continues to work, but... it can no longer do. You're the only one who knows, Peter. I'd like to keep it that way. Of course. Uh, if you'd like to seek a position with more of a future... I, I came here to work for you because of what you've got up here. And that's not going anywhere. So neither am I. Oh, Peter, before I forget, I read the most fascinating article. Outlines possible next steps for the neural interface. I'll take a look. Thanks, Doc. Man, I remember the first day I direct interface with the basal ganglia. Exciting, but risky. I don't know, Doc. You'll need a gallium silk array to make it work. Even then, odds of injury are pretty high. Gallium! Genius! Never mind the risks. We'll work them out in time. Doc's really sick. At this rate, he'll lose control of his motor functions within a year. And if we're not careful, an intracranial implant could make things even worse. Even alter his personality. We need to proceed carefully. Hmm. Um, Doc, I'm sorry, my aunt just texted. No worries, Peter. I was thinking of taking a break myself. As soon as I check our telemetry data. Thanks. I'll be back in...
Hi, May. Let me guess. Running late? Nope, I'm actually on my way now. Have you heard from Miles? No, but his mother said he was coming, so... Good. I'll be there soon. Bye. an interesting chip today. What are you doing here? You just made your last mistake, punk. What the? Does it seriously take this many guys to rob a teenager? Spider-Man. You're the amazing Spider-Man. You're the spectacular Spider-Man. And a few other choice adjectives Jameson uses. Look, that was really brave. But next time, leave the fighting to the pros. Okay? Uh, okay, but what if there aren't any around? Well, you can't just go swinging at someone twice your size. I mean, don't get me wrong. I fight guys stronger than me all the time. But when I do it, I have... Oh, like that time you fought Rhino on the Brooklyn Bridge? That was so awesome. Perfect example. <laughs> If the other guy's bigger, you gotta be quicker. Okay? Okay, but that's it's easy for you to say. I, sorry, I just can't do what you do. All right, put him up. Seriously? Yeah, come on. First thing, don't let the adrenaline get to you. Breathe slow, breathe deep, relax. Hip square to your opponent. Let them make the first move. Now use your feet, and when they go off balance, look for an opening. Boom. Like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Not only this time, just let me have it. Right on the jock. Okay? I can it. <clears throat> oh, sh... S sorry No, no. No. It's all good. <laughs> you keep that up, and uh, you'll be fine. All right. Lesson's over. Gotta go. Hey, uh... Thanks. You know, anytime. I just punch Spider Man. Please, man. I, I got kids. Shelter should be just ahead. Yo, Miles, what's up? Bro, you're not gonna believe this. I just met Spider Man. What? That's crazy. Hey, did you show him our hacking app? Oh, man. I totally forgot. Oh, you suck. He totally would have bought it off you, and then we'd be, like, famous. Yeah, I'll show him next time. I, I gotta go. I promised my mom I wouldn't be late. Uh, cool. Later. Uh-oh. Everyone have their IDs out and ready for inspection. Are you kidding me? It's gonna take forever. Jerome wasn't watching. I could jump the fence. Do you know anyone by the name of Martin Lee? Have you seen him? No. Wow, that was too easy. I can't believe Sable systems are unsecured. Maybe I'll send an anonymous tip.
Okay, hacking app. Don't fail me now. Okay. Okay, okay time to move. <clears throat> okay, let's see. I can go under the gate on the left, or over the scaffolding to the right. Almost there. Miles, you don't have to work at that shelter, you know. You said I did. No, I gave you a choice. Yeah, and I chose this over more therapy. I mean, it was helpful. The guy said everyone grieves in their own way. This is mine. Okay, sorry. Mom. Yeah? Just because I don't want to talk about it doesn't mean I don't love you. Oh, honey, I love you so much. We'll get through this. I gotta go. I'll call you on my way home. I'm seeing, seeing them dead demon faces. You know what? I'll just keep breathing. I'll, I'll be back soon, Mr. Hunter. Hey, hey, Miles. Pete. Hey, um, sorry I'm late, man. Oh, no, no, I'm just glad you're here. All right, so, um, what can I do to help? Why don't you start just by, uh, getting comfortable with the place. Uh, meet a few people. You know what? Everybody loves coffee. Coffee? All right. And I'll be back in a little while to check on you. Is that cool? Yeah. Oh, don't worry about Mr. Hodges. He doesn't bite. Much. You sure? Coffee? Thanks. Need help? Not unless you know what the hell a quark is. It's a subatomic particle. You know, the building block of protons, neutrons, hadrons? Subatomic? It fits. Good one, kid. Piece of junk. <laughs> oh, hell! Damn hunk of junk! Uh, you mind if I take a look? Eh? Oh, we have a couple of CRTs at school. I know how to fix these when CR what, what? No, no, you just gotta smack it. Up time. Get it. Go! Or, could be a loose coax cable. <sighs> all right, all right. Be my guest, huh, Mr. Smarty Pants? Hey, please, go ahead. Tributes continue to pour in for Officer Jefferson Davis, the hero killed in the City Hall bombing, as reports emerge that he used his own body to shield others in his last moments of life. Hey, hey new kid. I'm empty here. Rio and son Miles, as well as brother Aaron. In addition to the hero. Man didn't do nothing heroic except get himself blown up. <laughs> hey, Ernie. I see you've met Miles. He's gonna be helping out around here. You may have heard of his father, Jefferson Davis. Pretty great that even though he's got a lot of stuff going on right now, he decided to come and volunteer. Don't you think? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Uh, listen, Cat, I'm, I'm... Sorry about your dad. Come on, Miles. Let's see if Aunt May needs a hand in the kitchen. Hey, May. I gotta take off, but, uh... Brought some help for you. Hi, Miles. Nice to see you. Well, grab an apron, wash your hands, and I'll show you around. 
Hey, hey Peter. Um, thanks for that back there. Of course. Almost noon. Sable should be moving Dr. Michaels. Better get to the Bowery and locate him. I'm afraid our computers are a bit outdated. Well, that's cool. Hey, Yuri. I'm heading to the Bowery to make sure Michaels gets to his new safe house. You know, safely. I wouldn't do that. Silver Sable made it clear you were not welcome. Yeah, well, what's she gonna do? Shoot me? Honestly, 50-50 chance. Ah, uh, fine. I'll be in the neighborhood, but not too close. Just in case. We're ready for you, Dr. Michaels. Is that the devil's breath? It's called GR-27, not... <sighs> Just be careful. In the wrong hands, this could... Don't worry. We're the best in the world. <sighs> I feel better already. Code 381. Package is on the move. This way, Dr. Michaels. What the hell is that? Welcome aboard, Doctor. Get off me! We got this! Yeah, sure you do. I'm in pursuit of Martin Lee. I think he's got Dr. Michaels and the Devil's Breath. Copy that. More units coming your way. He took Michaels alive, so that's good. Probably so we can force him to make more Devil's Breath. I have to stop that truck. Tank. Whatever.
need to clear the guys in the trucks before I go after Lee. and he will destroy all sinners! Sorry! Lee, hand it over! Persuasiveness. I've been watching you. I was waiting for you at City Hall. You never came. Where were you? Is this real or in my mind? It was a shame so many had to die with no heroes to save them. saved your life, didn't he? He was here because of you. And Norman wanted to use him. A futile gesture, in the end. And where was Norman during all this? Slinking like a rat. He knew what was going to happen, and he fled. Norman is a hidden cancer on this city. He must be excised with no trace of his corruption to return. Norman hides behind his mask of lies. I will break it apart and drag him into the light. Put on the mask. Become one of us. Thanks, but no thanks! <sighs> one way or the other, you will join me. Uh oh the souls you've lost, the innocent victims you couldn't save. Martin, their blood is on your hands! You can stop Osborne. You have so much strength. I can give you the will. Sits in his ivory tower. This isn't real. 
Show me your true strength. Okay. Did they take it? Yes. How worried should I be? Very. You're a popular guy. Where is this serum? I'm gone. The Discoya. So-called superhero. You think you save people, but you just make it worse. This is your fault. My fault? He was under your protection. You really need two of those? <laughs> Stop! We need to brief Mr. Osborne now. I'll go with her. Thank you. I'll remember this. Not getting much coverage. I should look for more towers to activate. Yuri, tell me you've got a lead on Martin Lee's location. We have footage from a guy at a coffee shop. Looks like he hopped into a black sedan after the crash. Black sedan, great. Let me finish. We have a partial plate. And one of my patrol guys just found a matching plate. Black sedan in a parking lot near Canal and Hudson. You're a good cop, Yuri. I'm on my way. Spider-Man. Hello? Is this working? Dr. Michaels? How are you calling? Borrowed one of Sable's radios. Listen, transit hubs are the most likely release points for Devil's Breath. Airports, bus terminals, train stations. It'll spread like wildfire from there. Why the hell is Oscorp developing a bioweapon in the city? Shouldn't this be in an Arctic bunker? Devil's Breath is personal for Norman. It's been his obsession for decades. The project breaks every state and federal regulation on the books, but he doesn't care. If the city finds out, he can kiss re-election goodbye. Never mind re-election. He'd be tried in The Hague for war crimes. <laughs> 